from this lecture i will start voltage multiplier circuits there are different voltage multiplier circuits available and we have to study them one by one the first question that comes in our mind is use of voltage multiplier circuits what is the use of voltage multiplier circuits voltage multiplier circuits are used to maintain relatively low transformer peak voltage by stepping up the peak output voltage to 2 3 4 or more times the peak rectified voltage the peak rectified voltage is vm and we use the voltage multiplier circuits to step up the peak output voltage to 2 3 4 or more times the transformer peak voltage so we don't have to keep the transformer peak voltage to high value we can keep it to the relatively lower values and by using the voltage multiplier circuits we can step up this value 2 3 4 or more times there are two types of voltage multiplier circuits first one is voltage doubler second one is voltage tripler and quadrupler in voltage doubler circuit we have half wave voltage doubler and full wave voltage doubler by using voltage doubler circuit we can have twice of vm vm is the peak rectified voltage and by using voltage tripler we can have thrice of vm and by using voltage quadrupler we can have four times of vm there are two different types of voltage doubler circuits first one is half wave voltage doubler and second one is full wave voltage doubler in this lecture we will deal with half wave voltage doubler and in the next lecture we will deal with full wave voltage doubler so let's move to the half wave voltage doubler circuit this is the circuit for half wave voltage doubler this is the primary winding of the transformer and this winding is the secondary winding of the transformer the two parallel lines are the core of the transformer in this circuit we are using two diodes d1 and d2 and two capacitors c1 and c2 the output voltage the output voltage is v out and we are measuring the output voltage across capacitor c2 during the positive half cycle during the first positive half cycle we have to analyze this circuit this is the first positive half cycle vm is the peak rectified voltage let's say v in is the input voltage v in is the input voltage during positive half cycle the polarity of input voltage is like this plus minus and the voltage is vm v in is equal to vm and when this happens diode d2 is reverse biased because n side is connected to the positive and p side is connected to the negative on the other hand diode d1 is forward biased because p side is connected to the positive and n side is connected to the negative we are considering ideal diodes we are considering ideal diodes d1 and d2 both are ideal diodes and in case of ideal diodes the diode will be forward biased if voltage across the diode is greater than 0 volts and in this case it is definitely greater than 0 volts it is equal to vm so the diode d1 is forward biased and we have to replace it with its equivalent model and in case of ideal diodes the equivalent model in case of forward bias is short circuit and this diode d2 will be open circuited because it is reversed biased so i will i will paste this circuit and i will modify this circuit in which diode d1 is short circuited and diode d2 is open circuited this is short circuit and this diode is open circuit we have to find out voltage across capacitor c1 and let's call it vc1 plus minus vm i will use kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain voltage across the capacitor c1 vm vm minus vc1 this is the polarity of voltage vc1 equal to 0 so vc1 is simply equal to vm so during positive half cycle during this half cycle capacitor c1 will be charged with voltage vm now i will redraw this circuit to analyze the negative half cycle for negative half cycle voltage across c1 is vm and this will be the polarity of input voltage vm and you can clearly see diode d2 
is forward biased because n side is connected to negative terminal and diode d1 is reverse biased because p side is connected to the negative terminal and n side is connected to the positive terminal so i will remove diode d1 and we have open circuit here diode d2 will offer zero resistance so it will be short circuited and now we have to find out voltage across c2 let's call it vc2 i will again use kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain voltage across capacitor c2 minus vm minus vm this minus vm is the input voltage and this minus vm is the voltage across c1 plus vc2 plus vc2 is voltage across capacitor c2 this will be the polarity equal to zero so vc2 is simply equal to twice of vm and for the next positive half cycle d2 will remain off and c2 will discharge through the load this d2 will remain off and d1 will be short circuited for the next positive half cycle and the voltage across capacitor c2 is equal to twice of vm which can be easily discharged through the load so you can see that we are having the peak rectified voltage equal to vm but we are getting twice of vm by using the half wave voltage doubler we can connect load resistance across the capacitor c2 and we will have twice of vm as the voltage across the load resistance so this is how half wave voltage doubler circuit works this circuit is very easy the only important thing is charging of capacitor c1 and charging of capacitor c2 during positive half cycle and during negative half cycle in the next lecture i will explain full wave voltage doubler circuit in case of full wave voltage doubler circuit we measure the output voltage across both the capacitors the arrangement of the circuit will change the position of diodes and capacitors will change and will try to measure the output voltage across c1 and c2 this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one